Hey everybody, it's John again. I had a con another question on W2 and 1099s. A lot of them are the same or similar question. It's, you know, should there be a difference between the pay? And then the question that this one was, was the same. Should there be a difference in pay, but also can you convert from one to the other? And how easy is that? So uh, the quick answer to should there be a difference in pay? Absolutely. A 1099 independent contractor does not have benefits in most situations. So it's important to understand that those are going to cost you more money. You typically have to file taxes on a quarterly basis. The employer is not paying a percent of certain federal taxes that are due. So you will pay more in taxes as a 1099 and you need to settle up with the government most of the time on a quarterly basis. So as a 1099 general rule of thumb, they are paid anywhere from 10 to 15% higher than their W-2 counterpart. So if you're an emergency medicine physician and making $200 an hour as an employee with full benefits and 401k and everything else, as a contractor, you should be paid 10 to 15% higher because you're going to be covering your own your own insurance costs. Maybe they'll provide you malpractice insurance, but you're going to have to cover a percent of your own taxes. And that could be 7% by itself. So it's important to understand the pay differences are important. Now, can you go from one to the other? The answer is, of course, it just depends on how it's set up. So the employer has some rules and regulations with what they'll have to do. And I'm sure that they'll be aware of what those are. The government right now has not done too much cracking down on 1099 contractors. I think it's coming. They've been talking about it coming since the pandemic, when a lot of people went to independent contractor because a lot of people want flexibility with expenses. A lot of people want flexibility with tax structure. So how can you have expenses for basic travel and entertainment costs? Well, maybe that's being a contractor and having an LLC or a PC or an S Corp. So look into those things with your tax advisor. They can be very beneficial for how much, not your earning, but how much you're paying as far as taxes and percentages. But it's not as easy to switch from one to the other as it is back and forth, especially with the rules that the government might look for. I mean, if you're sitting there working 40 hours as a W-2 and you shift to a 1099 and you have the same schedule working the same amount and you're paid the same or even more, the employer may think this is not a contracted position. This is an employed position. And most most 1099 independent contractor deals do state if there is a problem and the government says, no, 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 you're not a contractor, you're an employee, then they're not going to be responsible for any of the back taxes. They're not going to be responsible for any of that. It's all going to fall on you. So make sure you understand what your contract says. First and foremost, we can help with that, of course, at contract diagnostics. But number two, figure out what makes the most sense for you and your situation. Figure out if the employer would offer a, or the, the company, I should say, would offer an employed situation situation or a 1099 independent contractor situation because one might be better for you than the other. Is it easy to go back and forth? It's not. There's some rules or some regulations and the employer should be looking out for those things and leading you in the right path that way. But if you have any questions on independent contractor jobs or W-2 jobs, of course, reach out to us. We're always here at Contract Diagnostics. So you can pick up the phone and talk to a real person or chat online with somebody who works here, not some uh, auto bot that's chatting with you and you're frustrated with trying to get the answers. I know I've recently done that with a couple of different online companies and it's not fun. So give us a call, chat with us. We're here at Contract Diagnostics and we'd love to connect soon.